Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you one of the many things that I have to do prior to flight. And today I'm going to show you the pre-flight exterior inspection on a Diamond aircraft DA-20 C1 Eclipse. I start the exterior inspection by dressing up my high-vis jacket, having the fuel checker and the keys on my hand. Many accidents occur on a propeller aircraft due to the keys in the ignition. So I start on the left side of the aircraft, checking all the screws on fuselage are not loose and uh, here the alternate air is not obstructed. I find it very important to touch and feel the aircraft surfaces. Checking the left the wing we have the sole warning that we have to comprove that is not obstructed and we have to hear this sound. On the lower part of the left wing we have the pitot tube, extremely important to check that it's clear and not obstructed either. Now I'm checking the taxi and landing lights, the screws that are not loose, here again the screws of the strobe and positioning light. Now it's time to check the aileron movement. Here is the mechanism of the, the aileron. And this movement is normal and will allow the well function of the aileron. Moving to the flap, I'm checking the screws on the flaps. On the left main gear, I'm looking for leaks, checking the brakes and the, the tire marks if they are aligned or not. It's time to check the fuel quantity. We have approximately three quarters of the fuel tank, so it's okay. To prove that the fuel tank is closed. On the bottom of the fuselage we have the fuel drainer and the antennas and we move to the tail of the aircraft. Reaching the tail I can prove that this surface is still painted and undamaged which allow me to know that the tail didn't hit the ground. On the rudder the cables have to present tension. I'm checking the, the tail of the aircraft, the screws and again the cables and moving to the right main gear. The right main gear we have to check the same parameters, so the leaks, the brakes, the tire marks. The flaps checking the screws. Everything is okay so far. moving down to the aileron, the right aileron, and again the mechanism. Reaching this part, we have to check again the alternate air, the thermometer, and I'm checking again the screws. The fuel quantity, we have to check that is between the limits. In this aircraft, it's between four and six of quantity. Now I'm checking the exhaust tube that is clear and not obstructed the left main gear and the cooling the propeller must be touched and look for possible damage here on this lower part we have 
uh, two uh, different air intake pathways. Thank you for watching. I hope you like it. Hit the subscribe button for more videos. See you next time. Enjoy the sky.